Hello everyone, here we are with another Unity tutorial for creating a visual novel with Ink plus Unity. And so in this tutorial I'm going to talk about really quick, it's going to be about 10 minutes, on how to create your Ink plus Unity uh, visual novel, how to write it, because the previous tutorial was about how to create a wrapper so Unity understood what you were writing. Well, as it's customary now in my tutorials, I'm going to show you the end product of the tutorial that you're about to watch before you start watching it. This tutorial will not actually build this whole product because it will take about 40 minutes of just typing. So I'm going to let you guys type because I already typed this. So I already have all the story here. You guys are going to get the script for this story and the steps on how to build it on the actual tutorial. But then we're going to we're going to check it out in Unity. So we have the text. You can change the text color. You can change anything you want in the text. We have several choices. You can go to many places. You can do many many things. You can go back home. You can go north. You can go south. You can go west. You can go. Uh, you can leave and actually win the game. In theory, you know, quote unquote, win the game. So that's what you're going to get. You're going to get a whole story told through Unity. I hope you guys like this and you can you keep watching this tutorial. It's I made it with lots of love. What's going to happen is I'm going to go through the main pieces of the puzzle in which which is how to write in ink. It's it's going to be the simplest parts and I'm going to base myself in this document that I created. I'm going to share it with you with a link in the description of the video. It's a very simple script that I created, but I'm not going to write it whole in the tutorial because it will take too long and you guys don't need to see that. You only you guys only need to to know the logic for this tutorial for this uh, tool. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open my ink file. Just reading it. I'm going to delete what I had because this is obviously a test. And then the most important part, I'm gonna give you guys a better side of this by using my ink, my ink settings. And so here we are with a beautiful editor that's mostly empty. But the, the main part here is to talk about how ink plus Unity works. So the first thing you need to know about Unity plus ink is it's it's just a writing tool. Enki is very simple, it's very straightforward, and it helps you a lot more than you think. So, in, you, in any document, in any script that you may have, you have headers, which is this is a header one, you can see it here, heading one, and you have headers two, or well, in this case, headers three, but that's, that's, that's up to preference, you can set it to header two. And, uh, oh yeah, of course, because, you know, this is, this is inside the city. That's why this is heading one and this is heading two. If you had another city, you could have that city in heading one. So, other than that, you also have choices for your player. Choices have t have a, an initial text, and then they have a response. And finally, you have to send the player to different places in your story. So, how do you do that? You do that with uh, this. I mean, you know, you tell the player, go to Central Square. Maybe you can do like page one, if this was a normal story and not a game. But page page one makes no sense, page five. But, okay, so how do you translate that to ink? Well, first I have this little to intro here. The way you do that is by creating intro and then sending the player to them before intro happens. So a divert is what sends a player somewhere and a not k n o t is your header one so this will be intro and now we have the intro place over here this is an example and then i want to go to main city but to go going to main city requires that i do another divert main city and then I create the main city, the main city place. So you see there's always this red thing. It's because I haven't done a divert toward the end of the story. You have to always have that ver a divert out of the story, just in case, you know, it, 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 if not, your story will never work. So 
I will show you another. Uh, the next technique needs you to see. I'm going to go to central square, so you can guess that I'm going to do central square here. And then I'm going to create the central square. So in central square, you see that I have first visit and then next visits. To create a sub, this I would call it a child because of Unity. Unity's hierarchy teaches you that this is a child. I'm going to give you a little example here. I'm going to create an empty game object. I'm going to call it central square. And then if I want to do first visit, I would create another one. And this would be first visit. And then I will have another one that we call second visit. So this is my first header and this is my second header, that child of the main one. This is just an example, you don't need to do that. And so central square first visit, I'm gonna create that. And to create that, you only do one of those. First visit. And then I also have another one called second visit. And Whatever I want to, whenever I want to send my player to my first visit, which is the case in this one, I will do first visit here. And if I wanted to send them to another visit, I would just do second or third or fourth. And this can work if you have a building with many rooms. You could have a house with uh, sending, okay, you're in the main house and you want to go to the bathroom. You just do, you know, send the player there instead of. If, you, if the player doesn't go in through the main door, they go in through the window of the bathroom, they would go inside the bathroom instead of the, the, the front door. Another important part is that the first stitch, this is called stitch, the first stitch is always the one that's going to be, if you don't say anything, it's the one that's going to be first <clears throat> acquired, shown to the player, even if you don't say anything, and this one will be ignored. You have to like specify that you want to go to the second visit. So you see there's another error here. Oh, you always need to have a way out, as I said before. If you don't have a way out, the game will complain. But that's because also because we don't have text and you will probably not run into that. But if it happens, you know. Okay, so now let's build a couple of choices here. So first, <clears throat> we have the first choice, Northern Streets. It's going to be a simple choice. I'm going to... I'm going to actually type the text in and then I'm going to create the first choice. Choices you create them with an asterisk. So my first choice is called Northern Streets. And then I have a little text flavor here and I would send the player to Northern Streets. Where's Northern Streets? It should be down here. Northern Streets. Now, the, now this one's complaining because it doesn't have a done. So I'm gonna, you know, create it. I don't need this anymore. <clears throat> so Northern Streets. As you walk by, blah 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 blah. Okay. So now I need another choice. I'm gonna create this other choice only, Southern Streets, and I, I, I'm gonna change this to. Oh, Southern streets and I want the text to be Southern streets call to you Southern streets And so my text will be Southern streets call to you, right? And then I would divert to Southern Streets And of course it's gonna complain so I'm just gonna do Southern streets and a little done here if I had text, this would not be necessary. But my point here is, with this new thing, is that you don't actually have to do this. There's a simpler way. The simpler way is brackets. So if I do brackets like this, and I just do this, my story would show this first only as a choice. Everything before brackets is a choice, and after brackets is added to whatever's before as a response to the choice. So Southern Streets, Southern Streets call to you would be the whole message the player gets. So if you want to stop watching now, it's fine because this is all I'm going to teach. The following is gonna be showing how this is represented in Unity. So let's go there. I'm gonna save the scene just in case and hit play. 
and you can see you arrived at the main city about 6 p.m. with many hopes for what's coming next. You haven't been here too long since you were a kid. You're supposed to find a ship that's sailing in a few hours. As you walk, you arrive at what appears to be the hub for this town. It's not too active at the moment. Where would you like to go? And so, remember the Southern Street ha uh, Northern Street doesn't have anything special? But, Southern Street does. So, Southern Street, call to you. I forgot to add a space, but that's fine. And so, we, what, we can, what can we see here? You arrive at Main City. So, this game is an example. Let's see, what's, what, where's that? Intro, I send them to the intro. This game is an example of how to write in ink so a Unity game unfolds for the player. That's it, that's here. And then I send them to Main City. Main City, this is Main City. You don't, you don't say that, like you don't get that text. You have the Main City, blah, 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 blah. All that text is here. And then I send them to Central Square, first visit. As you walk, as you walk here. Let's, let's check out the text here. Northern streets. Northern streets. You walk towards the northern streets slowly. There you go. Southern streets. Southern streets. Oh my god, I forgot to add the space. I'm gonna add the space right now. Uh, call to use space. Save. Wait for Unity to kick in. Hit go. And we have this freaking space now. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. I will. I'm gonna complete. I'm gonna complete my script. I'm gonna share with you the script first. That's the first thing. On the description of the video, it's gonna be free. It doesn't matter. Um, but I'm going to complete the script, write it all down, and then I'm gonna upload all the project files to Patreon. So you guys, uh, whoever backs me up with at least one dollar, you will get access to the project files. You'll get access to this whole script, made in ink. And um, you know what I'm gonna also do in Patreon? I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the, the settings here. But I'm not gonna give them to you because I'm I'm mean. So I'm, I'm just going to uh, link this in Patreon. And so thank you for watching, guys. And I'll leave you to the end slate. See you guys later. Hey guys, welcome to Video End Slate, where I talk about stuff that I forgot to talk about in the actual video. So about ink, it's it's pretty easy to use. It's pretty good and stuff. But making the story can is not always easy. So I'm going to direct you guys to mythologyteacher.com. This website is not the newest website in town, but it's pretty good. has a few resources, uh, such as this little, it's one sheet that teaches you a lot of how to make a choose-your-own-quest story. Um, and also, I'm going to link this in this, these two things in the description. Uh, this is the GitHub tutorial, uh, official text tutorial on how to write in ink in Unity. And it's pretty good. I learned from it, like, a lot of stuff. All the stuff. Because, you know, they, they made the, the assets, so they know what they're talking about. And so, I would recommend you to check this out if you have more questions. And you can ask me questions on Discord. You can ask me questions on on youtube or uh, over email on reddit my username is ramon def on reddit and um you know anytime you need anything just ask me and about storytelling I'm, I'm not that bad at storytelling and i'm going to tell you right now trust yourself be happy and don't be cliche like i am so i'll see you guys later